have a developing situation that does not sound good for the Dallas Cowboys, get on your phone, Cowboys insider Bobby Belt, as Adrian and Rod, Diego, William, Jeremy, all the great Tolo producers have sent me this from Adam Schefter. Zach Martin is considering not reporting to training camp due to his unhappiness with his contract uh -oh. and the team's lack of interest in restructuring it. Martin believes he is, quote, woefully underpaid relative to the market. He's scheduled to make about $7 million less this season than the NFL's top paid guards. I never heard of a Zach Martin contract dispute. Any drama? Go. Well, first off, I was having to, like, grab the screen and look really close to make sure this wasn't fake Adam Schefter. It is. It's real Adam Schefter. Uh, this is interesting. He was just on social media yesterday. He was on Instagram. And Zach? I, yeah, I thought it was odd because he's not on Instagram very often. And the Cowboys had made some posts about great news. You can now get Zach Martin's jersey in the pro shop. You can now get it. Most we, we hadn't been carrying it. Now you can. And he went and shared it of like, so blessed to have my jersey in the pro shop. And then Dak shared it on his Instagram. And I was like, that's weird. What is this like pitch to get some jersey revenue for Zach Martin that's never existed? This is kind of weird. Now it makes wait, me wonder. Wait, wait, do the players, does he get revenue from yeah, it? Yeah, you, you get cash for jersey sales. They oh. they, they get a slip. That's why I bought the, the Calvin Ridley jerseys because he told Marcus Mosier he was an idiot. And I was <laughs> like, I want to put some money in his pocket so that he can go gamble it away. Uh, but no, the... <laughs> The, the Zach Martin, this is very interesting. Now, he signed this deal, let's see here, 2014, 15. He signed this seven years ago? Something yeah, like that? Six, seven years ago. They they had the market cornered on roping their offensive linemen in long-term cheap deals. Tyron. And I, part of me wonders if this is. Leo Collins. This is the, yeah. the hey, this is my final payday. Like, like I want to make sure I get, because I had, last year when they lost to San Francisco, he was the most devastated player walking into the locker. And somebody stopped him outside the locker, and he was hugging a couple coaches for an extended period of time. And I think the more that the Cowboys have looked at things, they've kind of thought, we might be in the the window of Zach Martin walking away. But breaking down the timing with his current ability. Now, he just made Madden news, right? Yeah, he's, he's 99. 99 club. First guard since 2003, which is a little odd that it's coming off of that year. But Are we missing something? What, that he's a 99? Yeah. I think it's sort of just uh, like, like President Emeritus. It's like just kind of a, a badge they're giving him more than where he's actually at at this point what, Like, what was he? Like, if you were to grade him on a 1 to 99 scale last year. If I was going to create a Madden rating for him, year. I'd probably put him at a, a 90, which is way lower than he's been throughout his career. He's still very good. He just, he was not himself. He, he was not quite to the level that he's always been. He's getting older. I mean, he's, he's 32. Does he have a financial 33? argument here, or is it the wrong time to be doing it based upon last season? No, I mean, he's, he's still probably underpaid. He's been underpaid his whole career. He, he I mean, he if he wants to fight for it, he can. Now, if he wants to be paid like the best guard in football, he I don't know how much of an argument he has at this point. His but. PFF grade was a 73.3. What if his agent's like, did you just see Madden? He's a 99 on Madden. Of course. Talking to Steven. That. I guarantee you. No way. Said, I guarantee you. No way that any agent has ever dropped a Madden rating. They, they were maybe smart, they would. Maybe popularity. Just the, as good as a PFF grade to we, me. We got to ask Jerry. We got to ask Jerry or Steven. Has a, has, a, has a Madden rating ever been brought up to you in negotiations? I'll be fascinated to hear the answer. No way. I would absolutely bring every rating up. Now, whether or not it, it it moves the needle is a completely different story. But I mean, man, I I highly doubt. I was just having a look. I was gonna have to see who is his agent. I highly doubt that Tom Condon is bringing Tom Condon Madden is ratings Madden. into the negotiation. Right. Room. Tom Condon <laughs> has no idea that Madden even exists. Yeah, it's a little bit like you think Lee Steinberg has ever brought up a Madden rating. I don't know that Lee Steinberg uh, knows Madden yeah. exists. It could be in his PowerPoint when they say why. Here you go. And then it's like a list of accolades. Oh, 99 Madden rating. So let's look at where he is. How far down is he in term of, terms of guard compensation? Uh, man, I'm going down this list. There's no way he's, 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 no way he's down here. I have to be missing him here. Are um, you on average annual value or total guaranteed? Average. Or? I mean, that may have flipped. Here it is. I got it. Chris Lindstrom is making 20 and a half. 
Quentin Nelson's making 20. Braden Smith is making 17 and a half. Jenkins Green Bay, Brandon Sheriff, Joe Batonio, Joe Thune, Wyatt Teller is making 14.2. Zach Martin, number nine at 14. So he's making 14. The top salary is 20 amongst the guards. He's probably like, yo, man, at least get me to 17. I'm yeah. freaking Zach Martin. Well, you know? yeah, I mean, like, that's... And, you know, but again, as Bobby said, like, is this the year to do this off of? Yeah, I mean, look, could he... Is he worth more than 14? Probably. Is he worth the top of the guard market? Is he worth 20? Probably not. But, I mean, it is interesting. If you look at average annual value, and we're and that's just guards, obviously, but if you look at all offensive linemen, he is not even paid in the top 30 in the NFL. So, I mean, he's better than the third. He is a top 30 offensive lineman. He does it. If he, he, he has a reasonable case for a pay raise. Um, so, you know, we've been doing the rankings of the quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers mm -hmm. over the weekend. They did the interior offensive line rankings. Mm -hmm. This where, I would bring up in negotiations. Where did Zach Martin rank? So this one, I know where he ranked because I saw it all over social media. He was number one, number one. He was number two last year. His highest ranking was one, lowest was five. Here's the write-up. Last season marked a sixth first-team All-Pro, who at the age of 32 is one of the most highly productive players in any position. Three sacks and a 96% pass block win rate, eighth best clip in the league. His 74% run block win rate was also impressive. That's pretty low for him, though. Uh, he did not run away with the voting. He is still considered the best. He maybe declined physically a little bit due to age. He's so smart, so instinctive, makes up for any physical shortcoming. I mean, I don't know that the way we talked about Zach Martin last year, I don't think anybody thought that he was the best guard in the NFL or both best interior offensive lineman. I mean, pro football focus, who they had a lower grade on him, it, his grade ranked ninth among guards, even still when they put out their list of the top 32 guards in the NFL last month, they had Zach Martin number one. So that is the breaking news presented by BetQL. Smarter bets start with BetQL. Download the BetQL app or visit BetQL.com today. Zach Martin is not thrilled with the Cowboys, and he has put out the word uh, through Adam Schefter that he is considering not showing up to Oxnard when we are there in one week.